Hi, so we're in on shape and we're going to go ahead and take a look at using parametric dimensions here. So, so, um, uh, you do this different ways in different programs and on shape, what you're going to do is create a, a variable. So we need uh, three variables. Okay. The first is going to be width. Um, we're going to make these all lengths. So they're going to have numbers with units attached to them, right? And inches in this case. And we're going to make the width, uh, six inches. And we're going to make another variable. And that variable is going to be uh, height. And we're going to make that four inches. OK. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and start our sketch. So we click Sketch. We clicked on the front. Oop, that is not what I want. Uh, we click sketch and we clicked on the top. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, and hide the origin planes just for simplicity's sake. And we're going to go ahead and make our um, our rectangle. Um, and we're going to go ahead and dimension that rectangle. There we go. And now when I when I put in my dimension, I'm not going to put a number in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference that dimension, or I'm sorry, I'm going to reference that variable. So I put in the hashtag shift uh, and then the shift three, and notice that I'm going to go ahead and click width there and then enter. I'm going to do the same thing on the side. So click, move the mouse, click, shift three for hashtag, and then I'm going to click height. Okay, so there we have it. All right, now I'm making a peg toy, so uh, which is kind of a classic exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and make the holes for the pegs. And I'm going to go ahead and make two holes. Now, um, oh, and I notice, I'm, I'm fooling you by the way, so I notice that, hey, I didn't make another um, uh, variable. Well, it turns out that you can't make a variable when you're in a sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and might save my sketch. And I'm going to click on the variable, and I'm going to call it hole and I'm going to make it one inch. Okay, and there is our whole uh, variable. I'm gonna go back in the sketch and I'm going to dimension the, um, the diameter of the circular, what it's gonna be the whole, and I click the hashtag and guess what? Okay, now I don't see it. It's height and width here, right? But no hole. Where did the hole go? <laughs> well, um, there's kind of, I would call it a glitch. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Basically, the variable needs to appear in the features uh, explorer above the sketch that you're working on or above where you're referencing it. For that reason, I suggest, you know, if you have a lot, a lot, a lot of variables, maybe don't, you know, maybe don't put them all up at the top. But for, for our purposes, I would put all the variables at the top. So let's go ahead and double click on sketch. Double click on the dimension, shift three for hashtag, and we're going to select hole and enter. And then we're going to do the same thing for the uh, square here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click um, dimension, click, move, click, and we're going to do hole, right? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use a constraint. So, um, so do you see this equivalent constraint? I'm going to click on constraint. I'm going to click one side and then the other. Okay, and that's going to keep the square to be a square rather than a rectangle. So instead of doing two dimensions on the sides, we're just going to go ahead and use that equivalent um, constraint. Okay, so there are our holes, but wouldn't you know it, we still have to, um, to position them. And this is where things get really useful uh, as far as the variables go. So I'm going to go ahead and I save the sketch, which I shouldn't have done. I'm back in the sketch and let's go ahead, um, click dimension and we're going to click the side of the rectangle. We're going to click the side of the circle and pull up. Okay. Now let's think about what is the equation that we need for this, um, for this, um, this dimension, this position of the circle, right? So, so we have our original, um, width, right? So we have hashtag width. Okay, but then from the width, notice that we have kind of five spaces. We have this section here before the circle, this space. We have the circle itself. We have another space, you know, the space between the circle and the square. And then we have a space between the square and the side of the rectangle. Okay, now we want all, we want these spaces to be even. So we want the space between the circle 
the distance from the circle, edge of the circle to the edge of the rectangle would be the same as the circle to the square to be the same as the square to the edge of the rectangle. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to subtract um, uh, two times, two times the whole value, right? Okay. Um, notice here that if I was, um, I can multiply by a number, right? Okay. So that see how the two doesn't have inches on it? That's because I'm multiplying by two. Okay. Um, let's say, so this will work. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Okay. That works. It's wrong, but it works, right? So if I double click that, it's fine. Let's say that I wanted to, right after that, I wanted to add two inches. Let's say I would just go add two plus two, and then I hit enter. Okay, that's a problem, right? So the problem is, is that now I tried to, to add two, but we don't know what two is, right? So, so two has to be something. So when you're adding or subtracting things, you have to put the units on, in this case, inches, right? Uh, it could be millimeters, right? It could be anything, but it has to have a unit, right? A unit of measure, um, a unit of distance, right? So in this case, in this case, so everything is inches. It probably should be inches too, all right? Now, we don't need to do that in this case, but I wanted to call it out that when you're adding or subtracting things, if they're, you know, everything you're adding or subtracting from is, is, is uh, in inches, the thing you're adding or subtracting should be in inches too. So remember, adding and subtracting, it has to be apples and apples. Uh, when you're multiplying or dividing, it can be a scalar value, which means it has no units. Okay, so we have a width minus, and then and then we're subtracting two of our holes, right? So the square and the circle, and then we're dividing that by three, right? Because then we need three even spaces between them. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Ooh. And I forgot my order of operations. Okay, so we're gonna enclose the width minus two times whole in its own set of parentheses, and then we're gonna divide that whole thing by three. Okay, there we go. So we have 1.33, and now the great thing about this is once I write it, I can go ahead and control A, select the whole shebang -a bang and we can then dimension our next space. So then from the circle to the square, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we'll just paste it in and hit enter by control V, right? So I um, you want to see that again. I just um, control A to highlight everything, control C to copy. And then we're going to go over to the next dimension and we're going to go control V and enter. Okay, so there we have it. There's our, there are, um, Ooh, the sketch could not be solved there because basically I over dimensioned the sketch. Okay, so that was my mistake. Um, I don't know if you saw that. So this this light gray uh, dimension here means it's a driven dimension. It means that basically by 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 dimensioning everything else, this last dimension was predetermined. Therefore, I couldn't put in my own dimension because it's that would be over dimensioning. It. So so it wasn't an error. Um, it was an error of me not knowing not to do that. So. Okay, so anyways, that last dimension is not necessary. All right, so let's go ahead and do the top to do the vertical uh, spacing now. So it's going to be very similar. So basically, we're going to take the um, the the um, the top of the square to the top of the rectangle and pull out. And basically, now we have our height. So height minus hole, right? Okay, and we're going to put those in uh, to, to make sure it uh, calculates correctly the order, because of the order of operations, and then we're going to divide that uh, by two, right? So we're subtracting out the space for the hole, and then we're dividing it evenly between top and bottom, so we're dividing by two. And that's going to put it right in the center. And then we're going to do the same exact thing with the circle. Pull out, and there we have it. Okay, so, so that is all of our dimensioning, and that is how you do dimensions uh, using a um, uh, set of variables in Onshape. Uh, best of luck.